You want to see the glamorous side of living tiny? Look at on that road. Oh my gosh. It all started with the water pump. It was about four years ago when Gary replaced the water pump. And we have a video on that. I'm not, I didn't, ref, I didn't film the new one. It was just basically buying the whole thing and replacing it because ours was the kind that you couldn't get into to clean a filter or to do any of those kinds of things. So we just replaced the whole pump. And that's, it took Gary about an hour, I think, to do the whole thing, to take the old one out and do the other. But there's a lot of stuff that we store underneath that area. So I'm going to show you how it all started and then what expanded from that. So behind that bird feeder that we haven't got any other place to store is the water pump. It's, uh, where's my finger? Let's see, it's about in there is where the water pump is. I'll try and get a close up of it. It's kind of up, up under there. This is the back of the bench seat that get where Gary sits. Um, and behind in there, behind where the cushion goes, the back cushion, we have storage in there. So I've been reorganizing that. I had too many jars saved up and I, I got rid of a bunch of those. I have replaced where I keep my storage bags, which I hardly ever use, and the Tupperware type stuff, Rubbermaid, whatever, that I use more often to store things. So that's all up in the, more up in the front now instead of digging in the back to get to that stuff. That stuff, we don't use that often. The aluminum foil, the wax paper, stuff like that, it isn't used that often. So I exchanged all that, cleaned up things, got rid of lids that didn't have bottoms and bottoms that didn't have lids and they didn't match. And then I cleaned underneath here because this was, this is an outdoor bay and these are the things that Gary gets to when he's outside that he needs access to. But then on this side, we have another entrance, another door that gets to some of our spare food. Although well, what I found out is that we have too many of some things that I didn't even realize we had. I just bought salad dressing again, and we already had salad dressing. So I have started to take inventory, which led to another thing. So I was doing inventory from underneath the, the, underneath the bench. And then that took me to doing inventory up here above my side of the bench. And then there was inventory over here. We have inventory in here, some things, not very much, but some things. And then we have, I have to watch my step. Then I have more food things in here like rice and quinoa and uh, lent, um, lentil beans and uh, oatmeal and things like that. We have all that up in here. So I started taking inventory of that. We have our tea bags and everything up here. I started doing inventory of that to know what we need to replace. Um, oh my gosh. And then it just kind of one thing led to another, to another, to another, to another. And so I've been cleaning as I go, purging as I go, setting some things aside for food pantry that we are not going to probably eat or use. Um, I've had them and they're not expired yet, so I'm going to be donating those. And just, man, haven't done anything major like this in quite a while. And I think it's a lot to do with just not feeling emotionally wanting to handle one more thing. Um, I just feel like the last two, three years has been very emotional and stressful for me and for Gary too. Um, a lot of things that we have been dealing with that we don't tell you about, 
we're fine. Gary and I are fine, but it's just different things that have been coming up that just in the world in general, I guess, um, a lot of troubling things going on that people have gotten so far away from the Bible. It's just unbelievable. Anyway, um, so there's been all that and we have several family members who are going through depression as well. I, I would say that I, I struggle with that quite often myself and so it's just been a lot of things piling up and I just didn't feel like doing anything and so I wasn't and now things got overwhelming the pump needed to be replaced it was making a lot of racket so that's been redone and now that's good and it's not going to make that noise anymore and it's going to be great and it just kind of sparked me to doing more things I'm going to start doing some changes here in our house as well um, just some things I want to just want to do and uh, to spruce it up a little bit. Things like the handles. We spray painted these four or five years ago. They were gold. And we spray painted those and the hinges on all the cupboards throughout the whole place. But at the time, we did not take enough time to do it the right way. So some of them, oh, I gotta get, try to get to something. Some of them are wearing off. The paint is chipping. We redid them, but the second time we didn't allow enough time for the, to have two coats and a sealer. We should have. We just weren't. So here's another one that is really wearing, and the gold is showing through. This is a little closer look of how the gold is shown through. It looks really bad. And they lasted quite a while. It, it cost about $10 to redo them, but it's just not holding up. Had we done it right, they probably would have held up a little longer, but we didn't. And to do it again would be another $10 and another $10. And it's just like, well, I'm just going to buy new ones. So see, these aren't used very often and these look just fine. There's, you know, nothing wrong with them. I looked for uh, just replacements of those just to see if I can find the same handle. Well, they don't make that handle. Can't find it anywhere. So we're going to be changing all the handles. We don't have to do anything with the hinges because the hinges aren't being affected by it. And we're going to donate the handles to Habitat or something and somebody can maybe still use them. Yeah. All right. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to be changing out these cushions. Um, I made these out of bed sheets uh, almost six years ago. This is like a pillowcase. I made it in for the back one. And this one is an actual pillowcase, and it's only a pillow size because the rest of the bench is used for storage on different things that we work on and work with. And that's another thing I have to purge out. Gary has one that goes on his bench too, and he's going to be purging his out as well. We have just gotten accumulated way too much stuff. This is our microwave. We do not use it as a microwave. We use it for storage. It's where I keep my cutting boards and my uh, hot pads and uh, things like that. And then we have two small pots that fit up in here. And the thing that I want to do is figure out, first of all, we thought about taking it out, just getting rid of it and see if it's finished on the inside of that. We may be opening this up just to see what's behind there. If it is finished off and it's not like a plywood look or something like that, I may just put some baskets in there and then I can use behind it for more storage. That is one idea. The other idea would be to somehow paint this yellowed part. Look how different the difference in color between this and the white. I would like to at least have it look white again. And if anybody has any ideas on what to use for that, that would be greatly appreciated if you could tell us how to redo that. Otherwise, we're going to just see what's behind there. We did laundry the other day and I have all these winter clothes that need to be packed away under the bed in the suitcases under the bed. So I'm just, just put them on the couch until we could get that done. That's another project. And this is also six years old and over the years um, over the six years now it has faded 
and it also has some holes in it and some tears in it from I don't know laundromat wash machines I guess or something I just got some tears in it and I mended it so I just want to replace that I'm either going to be buying another set of uh, bed sheets and what I'm thinking is I'm going to buy like a king size set and then I will have the flat sheet for the couch and I will have the pillowcases for the seats and then the fitted sheet I'm hoping is going to be for the back cushions on the bench seats. I'm thinking I can use it. I'm going to try something different and make it more like a fitted bed sheet on the cushion instead of like a pillowcase. That is the plan. So you're just going to have to subscribe to find out how that all turns out because I'm planning on making those real soon. And I need to get this mess put together. I've been working at it for a while now, but I just need to finish getting it all together and put back together and uh, it's gonna feel really good to have it done I am putting inventory of everything in my phone so when we take something I'm going to be I'm going to cancel it out and I will put down how many I have left and then I will know what to put on my list of things to replace what an organized system I used to be that way all the time and I've really fallen away from it it's gonna feel good to know what's going on at least in our home so now I'm just gonna put this all back together I'll show you when it's all done how nice it looks go shopping for some sheets I thought about duck cloth or drop cloths like painting drop cloths but that would require more sewing and I don't wanna I don't, I've never worked with drop cloth before so I don't know what that would be like with my little sewing machine So I'm going to go shopping for that and I also have some new pillowcases I want to make. I made these pillowcases. These are just regular pillowcases. We use regular pillows on the couch because they're so comfy and they're not decorative and people don't have to worry about them being fussy. I have little, um, I have pillowcases for this little pillow and I change them out for the seasons and I'm going to be making some new ones of that. I've got some new material. So I've got a lot of things to do here. You're just going to have to subscribe to find out how it all turns out. And you just do that by hitting that little red button down below. Next door, the bell's going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page for more things. I put some recipes on there just recently. And until next time, God bless. <music>